Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we are doing another what if video and actually as well another video right after yesterday's because I don't usually do videos every um, every day but this is just like a one off extra I guess because usually it's every two days I do a video but I, I just felt like making one today um, so yeah here we go so um, this is actually done by um, well the idea for this was actually uh, mentioned by one of you guys in the comments and I did really like the sound of it so I thought I'd just uh, throw it in for a little like bonus video I guess so what we'll be doing today as you've already seen we're gonna be putting the Sun in the Trappist 1 system we're gonna see what chaos can unfold because I'm pretty sure um, this will be quite a quick process so it won't be the longest video in the world but yeah I just wanted to try it out for a video since obviously one of you guys requested it so yeah why not let's do it so right let's begin and also I'd say as well a massive thank you to everyone who has um, recently subscribed as since yesterday's video which was less than 24 hours ago, we've gone up another 15 subscribers. So, wow, just a massive thanks to everyone for that, because that is that's awesome. So, yeah, massive thank you to you guys. It seemed like a lot of you guys really enjoyed that rainbow dice yesterday. That's that's a really cool object. So, yeah, anyways, moving on, let's begin. All right, so Trappist 1, we're going to go ahead and go obviously delete this guy. But first, we will put the sun inside it. We could try a few different stars as well. But, yeah, the sun is the main focus. So, we're going to put the sun right in there. So that is practically in the middle. We're going to delete Trappist 1. Then, obviously, we're going to have to use Auto Orbit for obvious reasons. But either way, we'll still go ahead and click Play just to see what happens um, without Auto Orbit. But I'm pretty sure it will work out that that would happen. <laughs> it would just pull everything in. So there you go. And that's it. That's the end of that already. So let's go ahead and open the new one up. And, yeah, do it properly. So, all right, there we go. So let's go ahead and close all that. Turn off that thing. All right. So the sun, let's go ahead and spawn it in again. Right, so let's place you there. Pretty much in the middle there. Obviously Trappist 1, we want to go ahead and delete. Uh, uh oh, game, why you do that? <laughs> let's go ahead and place it in again. Right, I want to select Trappist 1 this time, please. No, it's not sun. Trappist 1, okay, I guess we're flying inside the sun then. There we go, we want that little guy. Oh, come, come on, select this. There you go, Trappist 1, we'll delete you. There we go. Good, good. Right, so now we're going to go to... Um, it's on, no, it's on, I've, I've had a little bit of a, yeah, auto orbit's there, there we go. So, perfect. So they should all be orbiting the sun now. So we're going to slow down time to only a few minutes. And then we'll go to the closest planet and have a little look around. So, as you can already tell, that's a lot bigger. And, the, yeah, this guy is about, or all of these guys are about to get scorched by the sun. Because, obviously, yeah, they are very, very close to the parent star. And, obviously, if that's been replaced by the sun... That's covering the whole sky up. I mean, we're way closer than what Mercury is to the sun. I mean, we could actually add our own solar system around here just to compare, um, which I will do, actually. So if we go ahead and add solar system, so um, uh, add planets. There we go. So the, the Trappist planets are all here, or they should be. So there's Trappist planets, but I'm guessing Mercury and all those guys. Yeah, look, there's Mercury there. So you can see already that. Yeah, Mercury is a whole lot further away than these guys. So, we're going to go ahead and click play. I'm going to watch keep an eye on these guys. So, play. And you can already tell, things aren't going too well for these guys. Like, we'll click on all of them. They're all going extremely hot. Because, obviously, Mercury is already a hot. Venus is already hot. But these guys are way closer. So, even if they don't have greenhouse effect on their atmospheres. Well, none of them have atmospheres on here. They're just way too close to the sun right now and as you can see they are just going to get absolutely scorched to bits with all of this so is that this guy why is this got ice on it stupid frozen glitch it's got to come and get us again hasn't it oh it's actually it's getting so hot it's actually melted the ice on the frozen glitch so either way that just shows how hot this is and look this one's just completely scorched i'm, I'm guessing some of these are, may completely get incinerated i'm not entirely sure so let's um keep going now yeah, yeah, this is not going too well for the Trappist stuff. I mean, look at that one there. That one is just getting... that. I'm guessing this one contained a lot of water. It's all just getting ripped to shreds, all of that water. That that number's going to go down for sure. So let's just keep... Let's just speed it up. Keep an eye out because that number should definitely be going down. You can see the mass loss is uh, pretty extreme on there. So you can see, yeah, this is not looking too well for the uh, Trappist planets. And also, you'll see, look, that's the Trappist stuff. And then this is our solar system. You can just see... The Trappist stuff is really close to the sun, so you can see the orbit of one of them is actually um, a little um, dodgy as well. You can see it's wobbling like crazy, so let's just keep rolling. 
And let's um, see if anything happens. So, obviously, nothing's going to fall into the sun because we're not close enough to the sun for that. But you can see all of them are completely just burning to pieces right now. So, let's actually just get them all in the big line so we can see what's going on here. But, yeah, check this out. I mean, all of these guys are just all burnt up. I mean, look at this. Poor guys. They're like, they're, they're exceeding the temperature of Venus, no problem as well. They're like double the temperature of Venus. That's how much of a hellish-like place all of these guys are. I mean, look at this. 1,500. I mean, yeah, these guys aren't doing too well, that's for sure. So, yeah, we'll keep playing, and we'll just just see um, if anything happens. I'll see. Eventually, they're just going to get to the point where nothing else happens. But yeah, either way, they are still really close to the sun. And, and probably in reality, they probably wouldn't last forever. But just in the game, they're pretty much probably will last forever so yeah in reality they could just completely dissolve um at such high temperatures or possibly i don't know maybe maybe not just depends obviously we don't know for sure because obviously this never happened but you can see the orbit is going a little a um, little crazy but yeah like i said it's never really happened because obviously mercury's the closest and mercury's nowhere near as close as these guys to the sun but usually if they were gas giants the gas would definitely be taken away because obviously we've seen it on loads of exoplanets eventually if an exoplanet is too close to its parent star all of the gas on it will just get incinerated like planets like um or like some of the largest exoplanets they're losing mass all the time like the wasp 12b or wasp 17b one of those i know one of those is constantly losing mass because it's so close to its parent star and they're gas giants so i'm, I'm not sure if the rocky part can completely dissolve but if they were gases the gas definitely would disappear eventually but um, the rock part probably would survive thinking about it though i'd, I'd say the the core it'd be basically be the core of the gas giant which is left and that actually there is a theory that mercury may have been a gas giant and all that's left is the core of the gas giant which is what we're looking at right now the core so it's just a little piece of rock um that could be the core of the old gas giant so yeah pretty interesting theory though but i don't know if we'll ever prove if it was a gas giant or not but yeah, these guys are way closer than what Mercury is anyway. So, yeah, if any of these were gases, they would all lose their gas eventually. So, yeah, anyways. Yeah, but overall, it looks like um, the Trappist planets are actually handling being this close to the sun. But what if we ramp up the luminosity on the sun a bit? What if we uh, pull it to t uh, 10 suns? Let's really see what happens there. Oh, okay, you can do that as well, sun. Okay, we don't want to do that, so we'll turn that option off. We'll pull it back to uh, one mass of sun. <laughs> So, we'll, we'll, yeah, what we'll, we'll, we'll one radius of sun. So, like that. Oh, oh we've killed it. The sun's dead. Oh, dear. Seriously, game? No, not 10. Oh, dear. That's just... That's um gone horribly wrong. So, we'll place a new one in. Yeah, that didn't go too well. So, we'll turn off this stupid option for a start. Right. Luminosity. We want that to go to 10. Oh, come on. The option was switched off, man. Why are you going to do that? We want one mass of sun. There we go. One mass and... Oh. Now it's gone back to... Ah, that's annoying. Lock. Now if I put you to... No, not temperature. We want ten suns. Not one. Ten. Like that. And it still makes it bigger, though. Arr. That's quite irritating. But um, we'll click, click play. Oh, God, what has happened? We've broken it. Oh, and it's destroyed everything. Dang it. The sun, what have you done? Look at this. They've just complete... Ah. I didn't click auto orbit, did I? Oh, that's irritating. Because the sun is a star you should never customize. Because anything you do to it, it changes one of the other options. So let me just call in one of the Pascal stars. One of those guys. Uh, e. Let's use E. There we go. Let's paste that in. Then we'll put its luminosity up to 10 suns. Let's see if that works. Not, not, no, 10. There you go. See, that had no problem, did it? Seriously, game, you, you um, are crazy sometimes. But anyways, now... We will obviously go auto orbit again. So tools, more auto orbit like that. Click play. Now we'll watch as these guys get incinerated even more because 10, 10 luminosity is a lot, obviously a lot more crazy than one. So we're just going to see how far these guys can go before nothing's left. Because obviously, if you've seen older videos of mine, if you use stars that are even brighter, they're not going to last. So we're going to ramp it up to 50 now. We're going to really spice things up with these guys. Like you can see their temperature's at 3,000. So they're almost a temperature of the start at 4,000 here. But you can just see these are not going to last at all. I mean, that one is glowing crazy. Look, it's a white planet. Um, yeah. All right, now let's go to 100. <laughs> these are just not... <laughs> they're not going to last. So this one out here is smoking up. 
This one here is just, look at that, 4,000. They're hotter than the star. Now let's put it to 1,000. Let's just completely destroy these guys. See how far they'll go. But you can see here, if we go here, they're going into the blue temperatures now. So they are going to completely dissolve at that temperature because it just it will just literally dissolve into nothingness. Look, you can see their radius will definitely go down. Look, it's losing. It's dying. Look, there's material getting sprayed everywhere. There's just... Look at all this stuff. They're all smoking. Trappist-1D looks like it's completely... Well, there's nothing left. Whatever's... What's in the middle here? Is it, is it even an object still? It's just dissolved into nothing. Yeah, look at that. 76. That's just completely gone. It's just completely dissolved. It's picking up some of its mass again, but it's not going to last. But damn, that <laughs> poor objects there and not lasting. Let's go back to the star. But yeah, you can see now. Yeah, look, more fragments have been created as well. They've just completely dissolved. Look at these poor guys. So yeah, 1000 luminosity at this distance to the star. You are not going to last. So there's that. So you can see about 1000 is where they start to get killed. This one out here is doing okay. It's not really that bad. What about... Yeah, G looks like it's doing the best. And let me guess, has G got a higher albedo? 58 against... A zero. So that one is just... Zero on that. 44. One again. 97 albedo. So Trappist-1B is a high albedo for some reason on this fresh simulation. I'm not sure that's correct. But um, yeah, either way... They ain't going to last. But now let's really go crazy. Let's just go 10,000. Because obviously, going back to the original purpose of this video, one luminosity of sun. I know it heats them up to over the temperature of Venus, but it's not going to completely incinerate them. You have to have stuff way brighter to incinerate stuff like this. That's why blue stars, they would have less planets around them normally because blue stars will just incinerate anything that's too close. And obviously, blue stars as well, they do have a lot of radiation around them. A lot more dangerous radiation than a regular star like our sun would have. So, yeah, there's that. But you can see that just that whole object has just dissolved into nothing. Right, now let's just go like that. Let's just let's just kill everything. That You can see they're all just fading yeah, like that. They're just nothing left. All incinerated. So... Yeah, that's the end of the Trappist system. So, I guess to conclude, if you were to put the sun in the Trappist system... You just turn everything into a super Venus, I guess. Just insanely hot. But it wouldn't completely um, it wouldn't completely kill it, um, the planet. Some of them would probably lose mass over time, but they wouldn't completely get eradicated. But to finish off, we're going to use this guy. This is the most powerful star I have by an absolute long shot. I mean, that luminosity is pretty nasty. So we're going to go uh, auto orbit. But... I'm pretty sure even at like one minute of time, we're gonna we're gonna slow this down to literally the lowest it will go, just for fun, just to um. All right there we go. So we're gonna put it to about one second. So that's about real time, and we're gonna pay attention to those planets very carefully, because if we just check the uh, ring, the Haskell zone is switched on. We're gonna zoom out. It's gonna take quite a while, and there you go. So we are currently over twenty three thousand light years away. Um, the distance of this zone, so that this this zone goes out to about 7,000 light years, this green zone. That is how luminous this guy is. This covers 7,000 light years. So if you put this where Alpha Centauri was, the Earth would probably get pretty hurt from this. So yeah, there's that. But anyway, one second. We're traveling at one second. We're going to click play. Look at the temperature. Look at that. It's just inst instantaneous boiling. Look at all that material that's getting thrown off. Look at it. This is instantaneous. Like, time is... We're traveling at about one... This is real time we're watching. Look how quick that has just got incinerated. Look at them go. All of them are just... Look at the trails. Look at all of... The, look at all of those smoke trails created by this guy. I mean, look at them. They ain't going to last at all. Nine... Is that 900,000 degrees? That's pretty nasty. So we'll speed it up a bit more now. But as soon as these objects start, start going blue, they are absolutely finished. Look at that. <laughs> and this is happening in seconds, remember. I'm pretty sure these guys will be gone within the hour. Or within the hour or two, I'm guessing. Because that's not good. <laughs> they are just... Look at that. Is that a million? That's a million temperatures. Is that a million? Oh my. That is a, that's a million degrees. Yeah, that's... um. That's pretty crazy, so we'll just speed it up a bit more. But you can see the mass. Look at them. They're just incinerated in minutes. 
That is just how insane that story. All of them, every single one, incinerated instantaneously, pretty much. I mean, you probably wouldn't even be able to watch this video in the time that that star has incinerated those. I mean, absolutely crazy. But yeah, anyway, so um, that is it for today, guys. So yeah, again, to conclude, the sun, it does have an effect, as you saw, but nothing too insane. It just makes them all very, very hot, rocky planets. So yeah, and obviously it'll evaporate any water that's on them and stuff like that. But yeah, it wouldn't completely destroy them. So yeah, there's that, I guess. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little extra video for today. I thought, um, yeah, I'd just do it as a bonus video rather than have it, have it on a scheduled day. So yeah, hopefully you um, um, enjoyed it. And look at all these fragments. Oh dear. Maybe I'll use those for the thumbnail or something. That's pretty cool. But um, yeah, I could probably make a cool thumbnail with the actual sun for this just to make it a little more cool. But look at that. That's cool. Like massive pile of particles but yeah anyways hopefully you enjoyed um and let's see if we can go for about 40 likes on this video as well guys and also subscribe if you're new um if you um um have seen this for the video for the first time or seen my channel for the first time sorry if you um if this first video you've came across of mine definitely consider subscribing and helps on the journey to 7,000 subscribers i'm very poor at doing outros i'm sorry <laughs> um but yeah definitely um do that as um if you want to um join because it's absolutely crazy and also if you've got any more ideas post them in down below in the comments or in my discord server because yeah this this idea was actually only posted um quite recently actually and i saw it and i was thought yeah, let's just do it for a video because it seemed pretty interesting i've never done it it was pretty obvious what was going to happen anyway, putting the sun in the trappist system. But yeah, hopefully um, you enjoyed it. But anyways, enough of me babbling on with my awful outros. Yeah, I'm, I'm not good at outros, but yeah, enough of that. Um, hopefully you all have a great day, guys. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.